Hi guys, this is Ancestral Messages, and this is going to be general relationship read for the collective sign of Gemini. So, before we get into the details of the read, let's pray. Great Creator, Father God, Divine Mother, Mother Mary, Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Guides, just pray and ask for wisdom and clarity. Pray messages need to come through for the collective sign of Gemini for this, their general relationship message. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, let's start now with shamanic medicine oracle cards. It's new deck, so I'll read the passage, a little bit of the passage from the book. Now, general relationship read can pick up relationships with your family, friends, co-workers, your job it can pick up relationship with yourself. Look at the Libra read. One more shuffle. The lower world past. And prayer, hope. That one jumped out of my hand. Okay. So let's look at lower world. Lower world, past. You have avoided the lower world in your own past out of fear and misperception. This is not a place of hellish darkness, but somewhere that must be explored if you wish to become acquainted with the oldest part of your soul and move beyond the things that hold you back. Your thoughts and ideas are imprinted in the lower world, and once there, you can access the roots of your innermost feelings. The lower world card invites you to retrieve your lost power. You have been avoiding the dark aspects of your psyche. Embrace your shadow in order to know thyself fully. Face the fears that stem from past lives by connecting with the earth and the lower worlds. Darkness sheds light on that which is hidden. Wow. So, this is why I read from the book. Um, several, actually all of the decks are just beautiful decks that I have. Okay. Prayer. Hope. The biggest misconception about prayer is that it is a request or plea for a higher power to change events for us. When you understand prayer as an opportunity to offer yourself up as a conduit to, for change, so your energy and intention can be directed to facilitate change. You are participating in prayer far more effectively. You are central to your life and what is going on in it. Wanting to give up control and give it all over to someone or something else means, be means becoming disconnected from life, disempowered, and most importantly, forfeiting the opportunity to learn, gain experience, and build confidence, all of which will help you in the future. Start your day gently and in prayer to bring you balance, bring you into balance with the cosmos. Your prayers have been heard and your patience will be rewarded. You're being called to help others. Walk between the worlds as a living offering to spirit in gratitude and love. So, you have two direct, well, it's a two cards here that's offering advice about looking into your past and really doing some soul searching and stay connected to the great creator you're gonna have to pray through this i feel like this is a healing it could be healing of just healing of yourself and healing of and once you gain that healing then your relationships with others will improve as well but you're going to have to do some soul searching. That's what the lower world is. It's about the past. One more shuffle. All right. Let's pull some cards. See what's going on. Gemini. Chariot. Five of Pentacles. Five of Swords. Hermit. Nine of Wands. That one was trying to jump out of my hand, too. Two of Swords. 
Page of Pentacles, the Empress, Lovers, and Ten of Cups. So, I'm going to just say what I heard in my head when I pulled the first two cards. And I know it sounds funny, but Chariot is the fastest moving card in the deck. Five of Pentacles is being abandoned. Like, feeling like being abandoned. What I heard in my head when these two cards came out, and I, it's not funny, but it's the reference that's funny. Um, you know how you're going down the highway, and you get somebody that cuts you off in traffic, and is just being a complete ass about it and cutting other people off, and then all of you end up at the red light? This is what I heard in my head. Yep. Yeah. Um, fast movement to a stop. Everybody going to the same red light. You don't have to um, swerve in traffic to get around them. Because this was the energy. Fast movement, complete stop. So what happened? This is, this is what you have to look into when you look into your past. The fast movement, what caused the stop? Because this is like speeding down the highway and just a sudden stop at the red light. And see, it's funny too. This is the part that's funny. My late husband drove a truck for a living for many years, truck driver. So we would be heading down the highway and someone would act that way and they would be sitting at the light next to us. And he, he would lean over and go, so, at the same red light, cut us off. You have to wait now. Because this is, I feel like you've wanted this quick mo movement, quick, fa fast movement forward, but you're being stopped. Five of Pentacles is really feeling like you've been abandoned. It's almost like you're in the car, fast movement, and you've been kicked out of the car. Like they've pulled off to the side of the road and just get out of the car. There's two fives here, five of pentacles and five of swords, which is change. Five of swords is that high school gossip energy. These are other people talking. Because of this fast movement and then this feeling like you're left out in the cold. Like everything full steam ahead and then boom, hit a brick wall. This got everyone talking. Which kind of sent you into this hermit mode. Hermit mode is just kind of isolating your... Not even isolating lighting. I, it's not even isolating yourself. It's looking within. Doing this self-reflection. Just seeing what happened. What brought the change. <coughs> Excuse me. This brought on another nine. Because if you notice here. You have two fives. Seven, two fives, and then there are two nines. Hermit is Major Arcana, number nine card, and then there's Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands is defensive. It's being put on the defensive. In conversation. But the two fives that show up, Five of Swords is them talking behind your back. Laughing behind your back. It's that high school, like, drama thing. Five of Pentacles is really being abandoned. The words come out with this defensiveness. Nine of Wands. Then you got Two of Swords, which puts you at this crossroads. But before taking a leap here, Page of Pentacles, you become a student of your own life. Start learning as much as you can. What happened here? Why did my life come to a complete standstill? It was fast movement. What is the one point? Then you have Empress. This is your energy. You have the ability to birth something new into your life, to birth a new life for yourself. This is your energy. This is this creativeness where you go through your life and change the aspects of your life that aren't working for you. Then you have Empress. When you get to that moment, because I feel like you're at the Two of Swords. 
You're at the Two of Swords, you don't know which way to go. So if you take time to become the student of your life and really go back and find out what the chariot and the five of pentacles was all about and how you could have done things differently, how you want things to go differently. You may even know, but not completely know. It could be even something smaller than what you think, if that makes sense. When you then become the student of your life, standing there at the crossroads, you're going to step into that empress energy. When this happens, here you are, lover's card is um, Gemini card. This shows up. When this shows up, this comes with it. This Ten of Cups, that's emotional fulfillment. This is happy. This is having your cup overflow. This is beyond the Ace of Cups. This is cups for everyone. It's the happiness, joy, love, contentment. It's all there when this shows up. But this is talks about choice. Talks about choice. And I feel like, too... And I feel like, too, it's not even... This isn't even about someone else coming into your life. This is finding that with yourself, too. And choosing yourself. Because this is really a choice card. And this is, this is Gemini energy, lovers. So it's choosing yourself over this continual cycle up here and getting to that place of the Ten of Cups energy in and of yourself. Now, is someone else coming in? Absolutely. But you have to get there with yourself first. Because it's like they're still in this fog. The fog will lift once you understand what that truly is for you. Page of Wands. Six of Pentacles. Knight of Cups. Three of Swords. King of Pentacles. Um... <sighs> yeah. There is Page of Wands, pages. Oh, gotta love the pages, man. Page of Wands is text messages. This is text message coming in. Now, let's go through this. Text message coming in. Six of Pentacles from someone in your social circle. Six of Pentacles talks about community. This is your social circle. One of your friends, someone in your soul tribe. That's who the text message is from. Now, then you get these three cards. Knight of Cups. There's that knight coming in with that love offer. Three of Swords. Heartbreak and Disappointment. Then you got King of Pentacles. I feel like this is your relationship with yourself, but I feel like it's a relationship with the person, like a future person too. Because in order to get to this point... You're going to have to really look at your own Three of Swords. Because this is their Three of Swords. This is. Whoever this is. This King of Pentacles. Because these three. This is incoming to you. Knight of Cups. Someone from your social circle here. This text message. Six of Pentacles. And this Knight of Cups, this love offer from someone in your social circle. But it's like, this is them. And that's stability. There's no gender in tarot. It can, roles can be reversed. And yeah. We are to find the balance to find masculine, to find feminine within ourselves. This is someone else's energy. So this person is nursing this and trying to heal from this. In order for this to come in, though, you have to heal your own first. So this is a relationship with yourself now. And getting to the place to where you really look into your past and you pray and stay connected and go through this healing process. 
in order to get to the place to where this King of Pentacles can emerge from the fog. Three of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, Ace of Wands, and Queen of Pentacles. Do you see the Queen of Pentacles? Let me show you so that you really get this. King and Queen of Pentacles. That is a couple. Can't get there until you heal this. And you become this for yourself. See, you could be this for yourself. Ten of Cups. You could be happy, um, content, peaceful, joyful even. In and of yourself. That and do the healing work. And really get to the bottom of this Three of Swords energy. Then this happens. So the King of Pentacles is at the end of this. And then you got the Queen of Pentacles at the end of this line. So let's go through this now. Three of Wands waiting for news. Three of Wands is waiting. This is waiting for text messages. This is staring at your phone, anticipating the message coming in. Seven of Pentacles planting new seeds. And I feel like it's new seeds in your life, but new seeds in this connection. You know who this is. It's a friend. It's from your social circle. That's Six of Pentacles. Ten of Wands. There's a lot of words under the bridge. Now listen to me. Ten of Wands is remembering all the conversations between the two of you. This is remembering everything everybody's ever said to you and it becoming a burden. Now, when you remember... <clears throat> Everything that someone says to you, it's because their words mean a lot to you. When you sit there and pick through them and it weighs on you and you're trying to diagnose what's going on, it becomes a weighty burden on your back and you can't go forward. You have to remove the burden, put it down, pray through it, do the healing work, but don't hold on to them. Not to the point to where it's like obsessively. Ace of Wands, there's that new beginning. More conversation. There's a lot of conversation. A lot of conversation. One side more than the other. Like one side wants to talk. The other one, text message, get straight to the point. Then you have the Queen of Pentacles. This is your energy. Being stable, financially stable and secure all in all in of yourself just you standing on your own two feet and like i said there's no gender in tarot so this isn't relying on the king of pentacles for that stability it's doing it by yourself but to have the king and queen of the same suit show up that is a match so let's go for the green witch oracle Okay. Purification 41 Snapdragon 4 and 1. There's another 5 number change. Purification. This purification talks about healing, but this isn't even just healing. It's getting all of this out of your energetic space. In order to see through the fog and to allow this person that's healing from this broken heart that they have in their own life, in order to see them, you have to purify and get rid of all of this, like energetically disconnect from this cycle that's been continuing. When you clear out your space of that past energy, that's where the fog is. Then you can see that person clearly. Then you have love, number 30 card. Tomato, can't make this shit up, let me tell you. 30 reduced down to three, that's number of divinity. Father, Son, Holy Ghost, God, man, the angels. So let's pull white light oracle. And this is also another new deck by Elena Fairchild. So I'm going to read from the book. I'm going to pull two cards and read from the book. I'm going to 
saco. Alright, one off the top, one off the bottom. Let's move back here. That's one. Is that one? No, that's two. Is that one? Yeah, it's one. Is that one? I'm just making sure it's one. Yes, it's one. Okay. Number 10 card, Arkin Barbello. 10 is closing out of a cycle, beginning of another cycle. Then you have, off the bottom, Oracle of Chaldea. Number 37, another 10 card. This cycle wants to end. You're going around and around and around with it. Let it close out so that this new cycle can come in. But you need to heal from this and get to the root of where the cycle keeps repeating. So let's read from the book. Number 10. Arkin Barbello, your biology and gender are creative and powerful means for you to express your soul path. Sometimes you may feel limited by gender constraints or stereotypes, but your spirit can never be restricted or controlled. Embrace the journey of what it feels like to be you in your own body. There is much benefit and healing to be gained through an embrace of your life journey, including the deeper experience of the absolute freedom of your spirit. Wow. Number 37. And it talks about self-love. Give your body a hug. Give your body some love. Self-hug. Rest. Ground. Hydrate. You have completed your healing process. This is really about healing but loving yourself through the journey 37 it's oracle of chaldea i know that name too that's from the bible chaldeans continue on your healing journey with enthusiasm but without forcing things to happen more quickly than feels natural sometimes the body will be ready to let go Whilst the mind is still holding on, at other times the mind may need to be patient as the body processes an experience. Trust in your own timing and rhythm. There's no need to be impatient or to judge yourself. You are summoning the spiritual fortitude to tackle an issue which has previously held you back. When the time is right, the healing shall happen more easily than if you tried to push forward prematurely. Things are going to work out. Be positive. When the Oracle of Chaldea comes to you, it is an encouragement to rely on the light. Wow. So let's get to wisdom. Vintage Wisdom Oracle Cards. So love on yourself. There is someone that's wanting to come in. It is. There is. You just have to... Go through healing. Kindred spirits. You see that? Kindred spirits. Both of you have been through the same thing. That's what kindred spirits mean. And you have abundance. Absolutely. So for the collective sign of Gemini, this is your general relationship read. Love and light. 